Welcome to our lesson about the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is located right beside the Inventor button. The Quick Access Toolbar contains frequently used commands. We're able to customize the Quick Access Toolbar, adding and removing tools as we desire. To add a tool, click on the Customize arrow at the end of the toolbar. Let's click on this double arrow to display the rest of the tools currently in the toolbar. Now scroll to the end of this list of tools and click on the arrowhead at the end. It's called the Customize arrow. Simply select an unchecked item from this list to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. And the Open from Vault icon is now visible on the toolbar. It's grayed out because I'm in a single user project, not a Vault project. To remove a tool from the Quick Access Toolbar, we go back to the Customize arrowhead and then deselect it from this list. Let's remove Open from Vault. Now, while you're able to add a number of tools, you're not able to modify the order in which they appear. I'll be explaining what all of these commands do in this lesson. By default, the Quick Access Toolbar appears above the ribbon, but we can show it below the ribbon by selecting this option here. This gives you a little more room to display a number of tools in one continuous horizontal strip. You may have frequently used tools that weren't on that default list. You can also add and remove these to and from the Quick Access Toolbar very easily. Just right click on any tool and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. The Extrude tool now appears on our toolbar. To remove it, just right click and select Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. Now the Extrude command is no longer available on the toolbar. For your convenience, you can also add separators to the toolbar. A separator is a little white line that helps you distinguish one tool from another. Just right click on the tool and select Add Separator. And here are our new separators. I want to take a moment to review what each of the default Quick Access Toolbar icons means so that you can decide on which ones you need to make visible. I'll just display each of the icons on the Quick Access Toolbar and projects. Some of these you'll be familiar with. Here's the new icon. This launches the new file dialog window. You can choose an assembly, drawing, part, or presentation document. Next is the open command. This launches the open dialog window where you can navigate for a file. Save. This saves the open file. Actually, I don't want to convert this file. I'll just cancel out. Next is the undo icon. This is a very important and handy tool. This undoes your last action. The undo tool tracks changes for your current inventor session, not only your current document. So if you've got more than one file open, you can undo actions in both files. Let's click on it. As you can see, my last action was to open this fastener, so Inventor has closed my file as part of the undo. The redo icon restores a change that was removed with undo, and my fastener is open again. Let's take a look at Open from Vault. This opens a file from your Vault. Vault is a client application for managing and controlling files. It's not available here because I'm not in a Vault project, I'm in a single user project. Next is Print. This launches the Print dialog box. Here's the I Properties icon. Autodesk Inventor files have file specific properties known as I Properties. Click on this to launch an Inventor File Properties dialog box. This is where you can review and make changes to many important file parameters. Let's close this window. Next is the Manage Projects icon. Project files are used in Inventor to manage references between files. You can start a new project or open an existing one. Next is the Return icon. Switches you from your current work environment to the one you used previously. So if you're editing a sketch in the Feature environment, Return is going to take you to the Feature environment, the Model tab. The Update icon updates your files. It's grayed out unless the file needs to be refreshed, for example in an assembly if you've modified a component. The Select icon lets you choose a filter for object selection. Depending upon which environment you're working in and your view settings, you can filter to select bodies, groups, features, faces and edges, sketch features, and wires. Next is the Color Override setting where you can change the display color. It doesn't change the component itself, it's just a local override. The next icon is the Design Doctor icon and it's grayed out unless you've got a problem with the file. The Design Doctor is a diagnostic tool which helps you repair file issues. 
And this concludes our lesson about the Quick Access Toolbar.